In spite of overwhelming evidence to the contrary, there are still those spec snobs out there who want to believe that Wii U is just old, obsolete, underpowered, last-gen technology, and its pathetic horsepower isn't going to even begin to compare with the horsepower of the new Xbox and the PlayStation 4, and the sheer horsepower of those systems is just going to blow the Wii U out the water, and that the Wii U is just going to be a low-performance, outdated piece of trash the day it hits the market. That the Wii U isn't going to be powerful enough to run this engine or that engine, and that proves that Wii U is old, underpowered tech, and that real gamers know that more horsepower means a better machine. More horsepower means more advanced technology. More horsepower means a better driving experience in your hardware. Well, these critics want to talk about this in terms of the terminology of the vehicle world, horsepower, engine, so let's take this into the vehicle world and draw a comparison. Now, those of you who say that a better system will have better technology, and that better technology means more horsepower. More horsepower means a more advanced machine and a more advanced experience. Well, I'm going to offer you a vehicle right here, right now. And you have your choice between a 500 horsepower machine and a 6,000 horsepower machine. Both free to you. You get to choose right now. Just take your pick. 500 horsepower or 6,000 horsepower. Which one's more powerful? Which one is more advanced? I mean, that's up to you to decide. You who know so much about how much horsepower impacts the how advanced your technology is, you choose right now. Go ahead. Your, your choice is now locked in. Which did you choose? Well, for those of you who chose the 500 horsepower machine, congratulations. You've just won a brand new sports car. For those of you who chose the 5,000 horsepower machine, well, I hope you like shoveling coal. Because you just chose a steam locomotive from the 1940s with a top speed of 45 miles per hour over a brand new sports car on the basis that more horsepower means a more advanced machine that's more fun to drive and has the mo more advanced technology. Now, some of you might be saying, you tricked me, or some of you might have just went with a 500 horsepower machine with the anticipation that I was planning some kind of trick. Well, did I really trick you? I mean, you're the ones who's saying that more power means more advanced technology and that a weaker machine is an, an, it's going to be naturally inferior to a more powerful machine. And if you knew what you were talking about, if you knew the first thing about cars, you would have known that 500 horsepower in itself is extraordinary performance for a car and that 6,000 horsepower is absolutely outrageous to expect out of an automobile, and that you you would have known that I'm pulling your legs somehow. Because that's the thing, a lot of you people saying that more power means more advanced technology, we use not we use gonna suck because it's not gonna be the most powerful. It's gonna it's not it doesn't have enough horsepower, it's not gonna be powerful enough. A lot of you don't know what you're talking about. So therefore you wouldn't know that five hundred horsepower is naturally an extraordinary car and that six thousand horsepower is completely outrageous and not even something to consider in the range of possibility. So, if I've just proved right there that a more powerful machine is not automatically a more advanced machine or a better machine, that, it, that it's, you know, the more, more advanced or uses better technology, I prove that all that is completely untrue in general. And so, hey, it's all about how, what the machine's built for, right? I mean... A steam locomotive with 6,000 horsepower isn't meant to be an awesome driving experience, whereas a sports car is built to be fun and fast and maneuverable and awesome to drive. So it's not about horsepower. It's about what the machine is built to deliver. It's about what the machine's built for. And Wii U, according to just about, according to numerous developers who are already working on it, who are already programming on it, they are already building games for it are saying that Wii U is built to deliver a true 8th generation experience. So, 
I know some of you out there are still going to cling to this notion that Wii U is just going to suck because it's vastly underpowered and it's not going to be powerful enough to deliver an 8th generation experience. And I know that there's nothing I could do, and there's nothing I could do to convince a lot of you people, but I don't care because I just had a blast making this video. That's the only reason I made this, because it is just so much fun for me proving you guys wrong again and again in all these different fan fanciful ways, and I'm just having a blast. So... Whether I convinced you or not, thanks for watching.